Welcome to this look at a Brazilian settlers map on Farming Simulator 25 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on Pioneer's map. This is by Vergamini Modding and Lost Gamer. 95.27 megabytes download, no required mods to download, nothing in the build mode, no custom crop types. Contracts are available. This is a curious one. Now, when we talk about pioneering maps and we have a lot of um, sort of American style pioneering maps this is South American one and this is in the maps I missed series of Miss Silly P. I had a few people message me and said you haven't done it and I went on and I said I, I absolutely have done this map tour nope I did the map tour on FS19 not on FS22 I think on FS19 when I went through to check it was under Pioneros I think I wrote it down as rather than Pioneers map simple mistake i just missed it as i was going through so we'll have a look on all three game modes the slot count is 617 that's 617 swing it around and this is our start equipment on all three game modes you can remove this you can remove the equipment you can remove the building we've got a shed that's it that's all you start with um, and the slot count comes down to 522 we have got a harvester header and header trailer we've got a plow we have got a Valtra, Valmet in here, sprayer, cedar, spreader, and around the back we've got our trailer. Lovely. And we've got a field here that is our own. Now on New Farmer, or the map shall I say, looks like this, on New Farmer we start with plot two up here which is where our farm is, just up there. Um, plot prices are fairly expensive, we do have a periphery which is the two main sales areas i guess we've got a port out over here which runs down i assume to the coast out of the jungle area and um that's five hundred four thousand eight hundred forty. prices for fields do vary i mean they're up there when i say fields they have to be cleared that being said there are patches large patches that don't need to be cleared so you could still put fields on them you can plow out these areas and as i've said many times before there are so many, so many mods available in the mod hub now for clearing trees fairly quickly. That's not too much of a problem. Now, when I said contracts are available, and this was a curious one. So, we've got bailing contracts. Field 6, field 7, field 8. You think, I'm not too sure how that's going to work. The prices aren't too high for those, so it's not the entire field. So, 6, 7 and 8. Let's go back and have a look, shall we? So, if we go to 6, 7 and 8. So, 6 is here, 7 is here. 8 is here. When you click on this bit, hang on, well, you might be able to just see it. There's 7. See that little bit in the middle? That little patch there? I think, yeah, on 6 just there, and then on 8, yeah, right where the number is, you've got a tiny little field patch there, which I think is what the contract is available for bailing, which is absolutely bonkers. I don't remember there being any contracts on this the first time around. We can grab our tractor. We're going to head around. Um, around the main trackways, and there's no track from our farm, and we are, we are properly out in the sticks here. We're going to head south down towards the first of the sort of areas, which is inland. Along the sides of the rivers, which you'd expect more vegetation, more growth, and around the trackways, the vegetation is a lot thicker, the trees are a lot thicker. Then as we move out, as you can see here into the area, the trees are a lot sparser. Now you can run agroforestry as well, which means you basically plough strips or areas between the trees, especially in areas like South America, Brazilian uh, countries, where the, it's quite arid, it's quite dry. You get a lot of erosion through wind and the dust blows away, you know, that red dust. The trees and the roots keep it all kind of locked into place. So a lot of, in a lot of cases, not always, because obviously the almonds and rainforest, we know that's all being cut down and um, it's we people are looking now at other ways of still maintaining farming but still maintaining a certain amount of forestry in the bargain as well so as you can see there's plenty of space there are some thicker areas but it's not like you've got to come on and immediately clear trees before you can do anything you know so if we was over this direction we'll get to a thicker part then what we're going to do is we're going to head east out towards the port we'll check the port out as well now this doesn't have any productions on it, it's all, I think it's all pretty much sell points. We have got a vehicle shop, we have got an animal dealer, 
and we have got a fuel point find the track what I like about this track as well you get this kind of feel like when you turn out here that you've got this um, sort of monsoon almost jungle type situation where it pours in rain at different points of the day and you've got these puddles and the track is actually quite bumpy as you run along I like that as a feature I, I really on maps where you've got slightly bumpy tracks obviously some of them you go along and it will catapult your tractor but I do like that the little bumps here and there in the puddles very cool so on our left hand side we've got the bale sail point just in there come a little bit further around there we have got the lizard cheese shop like I say, it's not a production it is a sail point so we've got a little village here which obviously been built up out of you know whichever pioneers came out here first housing was constructed people needed amenities needed facilities those then sprang up around a little bit further down we've got pioneer terminal one so this is pioneer terminal one that is a sail point inland we've got the vehicle shop and workshop trigger can i get around there yep just about which is just here there's your vehicle shop your workshop trigger and this is the reset point on the map as well just here other brands can be imported should you wish fuel station gas station or just gas pump is just up here on the left and just over here we've got the animal dealer but the bale sale is just there so they're kind of right next to each other generally you find them next to each other but that is the first of the sales areas now we do have it does say there are 12 collectibles um, I talked about verges I haven't seen the collectible yet I'm not, I haven't been hunting for them. There are 12 to collect on the map. No, it does say... Includes three water source points identified with icons on the map. So I'm looking to see... what those icons might look like because it doesn't show them there we go everything turned on we're on hot spots yeah they're yeah, not too sure with that so anyway, we're heading east now we've got two parts of the river as we look back on the map so the river meanders round and back over so we do actually cross the river twice i think at the first point we've got a crossing point and a ford and the second one i think is just the crossing point the bridge is quite narrow so again this is going to be one of those ones now, if you buy the land either side there are plenty of modded bridges so you could bridge the gaps of course if you want to put larger machinery but the bridges are quite narrow so off the start it might be that you're pioneering to bring larger machinery in so your job when you start you might decide to start out on the port side so the ford is down here yeah, you might decide to start at the port and you've got to work your way in and you've got to build the bridges to get bigger equipment in i mean that would be quite a cool storyline you know if you were going to do something like that so the ford is just here It's lovely, lovely detailed map. Now, Pioneer is not for everybody. I know a lot of people just prefer to come on and have fields and, and they will bounce onto maps. Sometimes you get the Pioneering maps where you've got a, a blend between a lot of forestry or a lot of ground like this, but then you do have uh, some fields already in place. So you can either do contract work or you can, um, you can jump straight on and play. So it may not be for everyone. And I'll show you what I meant. So either side of the trackway, as you look either side, it's quite thick. We throw this up and go out. And we've got different tree types in different sections, as you can see. A bit more open that side. Then we go the thick trees either side of the trackway. And then come out this side. And sort of the further away from the roadways you get, the more the open areas become, as you can see here. I don't need to plug it, I don't need to push it, then the day you're going to be watching, you're going to decide very quickly. You might have not clicked on this at all. If you're what? That doesn't make any sense. I was to say, if you haven't clicked on this, I wouldn't be talking to you, would I? But if you have clicked on it, it means there may be some interest anyway. But then you may be on here thinking, no, oh, I don't know if this is for me, and that's fine. So like I said, I'm pretty sure the next crossing is just, um, just the bridge. There's a nice blend, well, that's what I like about it as well. There's a nice blend of tree types. There's a real mix 
it's not all one tree type and there's plenty of foliage plenty of bushes and, and undergrowth as well which gives it a very almost sort of jungly feel to it it's not all flat as you see and there we go it's our second crossing I still think having fishing in game would be massive. I, I, I really, really think that would be a very cool thing to have. It's either a side thing you can go and do and you can just fish yourself, or you can set up like a, a fishery. I know we have got modded um, fish farms, but I think on, on maps to utilize rivers, ponds, lakes, that kind of thing, make them a more integral part of maps. Um, I think that would be very, very cool. So coming up on the eastern side of the map, where the port area is, I'm, I'm sure, and now I'm thinking about it, that did the previous version of this have a sail point right by the boat, or I'm trying to think now. There's like a big ship part in here. So on our left, we have got the supermarket sail point. Just there. We go a little bit further in. And we have got, this is wiring. It's not a factory, it's just a sail point. So we've got wiring, which is on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, we have got Pioneer. So we had Pioneer Terminal 1, which was the one further out. So that's wiring. Sail point. And then just inside here. So this facility, actually, I'm going to check this to see whether or not... So this is Pioneer. Sail point's in there. Whether or not the arm... Um, have we got anything... Oh, no, I thought maybe it would have a auger, boom, pipe or something that went out to the ship. Oh. Maybe I'm thinking of a different map. Why did I... I might be thinking of Spectacle Island, you know. That had a port area that had that, didn't it? Anyway, as we go a bit further up, we've got the Lime Station just in front of us. Debris Crusher over to the right. We've got Sawmill just here. Standard Sawmill. So wood in, planks out with wood chip as a byproduct. Your wood chip as a byproduct will appear over there. And then here we've got wood chip sale. So this is a sale point for your wood chips should you wish to. And then we're out by the water's edge out the harbour. And that is the map. I say there's no point in going showing you it's just just you know. But you can see these open areas, like I said, that's a lot more dense. That area that I was showing you was probably was the worst area. Sorry, we should have gone further north. Um, but you can see these big wide open areas here. These are very dense in here, but some wider open areas there as well. Um, a real challenge of a map, I would say. That's Pioneer's map by Vergamini Modding and Lost Gamer. Um, I'm just checking my notes. That, that is it. Yeah. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.